Long before Paris Hilton and the Hilton Dynasty, there was another group of blue bloods making headlines. In tonight's Real Law, we look at a bizarre chapter in the life of Jackie Onassis and her family. They were involved in a legal battle that became the subject of a documentary in 1975 and is now a hit Broadway musical called Grey Gardens. Grey Gardens tells the story of how Jackie O's aunt and cousin, both named Edie Beale, lived in poverty and squalor in East Hampton, one of the most exclusive areas in the world. The hallmark of aristocracy is responsibility, is that it? This dark family secret made headlines in 1971 when the Board of Health condemned the Beals' home and threatened them with eviction. The eviction notice described the living conditions as a garbage-ridden, filthy 28-room house with 52 stray cats, fleas, cobwebs, and no running water. Albert Mazels, director of the documentary Grey Gardens, remembers the house well. Give me your first impressions upon entering that house. As we were walking into the house, the house seemed to be haunted. Why did it feel haunted when you walked in? Uh, everything was in neglect. Uh, and then, of course, there was this terrible smell from uh, all the cats. Over the years, I was told that there were 300 cats altogether, and there were at least a couple of raccoons roaming through the house, tearing it apart. Jerry Torrey was the handyman for Big Edie and Little Edie when the documentary was filmed. I've never seen anything like it in my life. There's so many fleas. I used to have to wear flea collars on my, on my legs, on each leg and, and around my uh, arm, my wrists. Jerry was there one day when the Board of Health raided the dilapidated mansion. Mrs. Beale was really upset. She was holding onto the headboard of the, of the bed. And I was a kid. I, I said, what are you doing? This is our home. I said, and you just can't uh, tell her to leave her home. She's not breaking any law. I believe that uh, with Jackie, it was able to uh, satisfy the Board of Health uh, with uh, uh, a declaration that they would correct uh, the problems that existed. Jackie O and other relatives chipped in more than $30,000 to make the house livable enough to appease the Board of Health. Ironically, this disturbing documentary has become the unlikely subject of a Broadway musical comedy starring Tony Award winner Christine Ebersole as Little Edie, who critics have said inhabits the role with uncanny brilliance. You fight City Hall with a Persian shawl that used to hang on the bedroom wall, pinned under the chin, adorned with a pin, and pulled into a twist. It's hard to explain, really, because it's sort of like this trade-off. Thing. It's like Edie comes in and I go in, and we sort of go into each other. It's that kind of feeling. When I see someone portraying Edie and Mrs. Beale, I sort of want so much to reach out and touch them again because they're, uh, they're my friends. And what would mother and daughter Beale say about their starring roles in a Broadway musical? I think they would love it. The mother is a singer and the daughter is a dancer. Uh, it, it's all the more of what they wanted to be.